Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image.com. The Canon SL2 it's caused a bit of an uproar in the sense that many people love it and like it and at a very, very competitive price point. We got a little mini review here, a little user review from one of our viewers, which I always like to get those because it's you guys and your feedback. You're not just listening to my opinion. So we've got, uh, what do we have here? We got Mitch. Mitch is writing in. This is uh, was a com comment left on a video. He says, I reach recently purchased an SL2 after shooting with a few Lumix cameras and Fuji for a couple of years. When the SL2 came out, I was intrigued by how compact it was, and after reading and viewing several videos about Dual Pixel AF, Canon Color, and the terrific value the camera offered with some interesting pancake lenses and the quality zooms with STM, I knew this was the camera for me. I bought the Pancake 2428, I bought the 18 to 135 STM, and now the 55 to 250 STM. This kit came in at about $1,000. The SL2 is a pleasure to use, very intuitive UI, and best of all, compact and lightweight, even with any of the zooms attached. Great bang for the buck system. Highly recommended. And I think what we're hearing from Mitch here, and thanks Mitch, by the way, uh, is an echo of why so many people are liking the SL2. Because for the money, this thing performs very well. It even has dual pixel AF. And you can get a lot of my favorite Canon lenses for APS-C and use them on here. The 18-135 to STM, yep, it's in my top four value lenses from Canon. 55-250 to 250 STM, yep, in my top four value lenses from Canon. The 24-28 Pancake, and I would throw in there on top of that, I would throw in the 10-18, to 18, which is in my top four, the STM. And I would also throw in the 50 F1.8. So, uh, great little camera. Great image quality, great video. It's got dual pixel AF. Doesn't have 4K, but a lot of people are happy with 1080. And interesting here that Mitch is coming from a few Lumix cameras, some Panasonic stuff, and Fuji for a couple of years. And he, the SL2 fit what he needed perfectly, and he's very happy with it. So a really good uh, user review. And what I want to point out here is that horses for courses, folks. Um, Panasonic might work for you. Doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. Fuji might work for you. Or maybe a Canon SL2 is the right thing for you, like Mitch thinks. Um, definitely can't fault him. It's a great camera. And thank you very much, again, Mitch, for your feedback here. What do you guys think? Do you own an SL2? Do you love it? Um, have you looked at one? Is there something holding you back from buying one? Um, what do you wish the SL2 had that maybe would make you purchase it? Let me know. Let's discuss the Canon SL2 in the comments below. What do you think of, uh, you know, do you mirror Mitch's uh, experiences? Interested to hear what you guys have to say. And thanks again, Mitch. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.